this is a 30-year young lady who has been diagnosed uh, with uh, um, adenocarcinoma of transverse colon. Uh, she also has multiple large lymph nodes, uh, paraortic, paracable, and also obstructive jaundice. Bilirubin is seven. Uh, the decision of the oncologist is to give chemotherapy, and so they want the jaundice to be brought down. Uh, some uh, expert outside has attempted an ERCP and uh, has not succeeded. So we are uh, planning to do an US uh, guided um, anti-grade stent placement. The so normal uh, routine here is when a patient comes with a failed ERCP, uh, we would uh, do an ERCP first. But since this conference is there, we thought take this liberty and do this case directly um, EUS guided drainage. So maybe you so can summarize the advantage of, uh, ah, sorry. Well, please continue. I will ask you another que uh, question later on, please. Yeah, okay. So the advantages of EUS guided biliary drainage is uh, multiple uh, approach the biliary system from the liver, from the duodenum, and uh, in this case, we have both sides available, uh, duodenum as well as uh, the liver side. So I'm trying to attempt first from the liver, and then we will see if we succeed, we will uh, show you the anti-grade uh, anti procedure. So are you getting the ultrasound picture? Say it again. Are you getting the EUS picture? Oh, absolutely. Very well. Yeah. OK. You can see that mildly dilated biliary radical in the center. Yeah. So that is what I am going to approach, uh, try to go into that. And I am trying to get a good position where there are not many. So, Fina, where's the uh, endoscope? Is it, in the, is it from the stomach or is it from the du duodenum? No, this is at the G junction. This is about a centimeter or two uh, beyond the G junction. If you see the fluoro, you will see the position of the scope. It is just beyond the G junction. And it is bent a little up. So that means I am yeah. probably accessing a segment three radical. So I am trying to get a good position, uh, changing the right and left of the scope little bit of change in the position. And this is very important to see that you are in a right axis and not far away from the lesion. So this, uh, you need to spend some time on this. And I think this should be OK. So I am in the liver now. I will try to go into the biliary system. So you see the IHBR has a thick wall. I am almost there. I think I am in. Yeah. So now we'll aspirate bile and see whether we are in the right area because if by chance, if you are somewhere else, this is a very small right getting bile. So we'll see once again if I push a little. I'm in here. It looks as if you're in now. Yeah. The only thing is radically not very dilated. So one more try. One last little more push. On the other side also, there is a biliary radical. So I am safe that way. Uh, oh, see now? Yeah, we got bile now. So I think this is OK. This is a very critical step. Now when we inject and then pass a wire, there is some time. This is very bile organ. So, when you eat 
see a big radical as you are seeing now. Can you see the cholangiogram? Yeah, very nice. Now we wait uh, between this and the passage of wire because it is mobile, the needle can come out. So that you have to be very careful. So if you see, I am using my colleague, he is holding the scope in position so that the scope doesn't move. Yeah, that's very and critical. And if you I see the needle, the needle is looking towards the center. This is a segment three radical. Segment two would have been better because you would get a straighter axis. Here you have to rotate the wire a bit. So now it is, don't change the position please, the scope position, scope position, uh, okay. Are you in? Still? Okay, where are you in? Okay. There is a bend just there. Shall I be drop it? Okay, we will be drop it. Now see. It's rotating there and coming back. So what kind of guide wire are you using here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the same, our uh, favorite 260 centimeters uh, terimo, curved terimo. So we use this for ERCP and EUS. And we find it useful because you see the tip movements can be done very freely and torque can be applied so that we can rotate it in a desired direction. Thoda or withdraw karta I'll withdraw a little more. Now see. So you see the wire is going back, although the needle direction is towards the high lump. Now we have got it. You see here? Now we have got it down. Now we have gone into the duodenum. Can you see the wire on the X-ray? Fantastic. Very good. Yeah. So this is the critical step. And at our institute, we are still old school. We prefer the transluminal procedures. We don't pr uh, prefer the transdiurnal or transhepatic cholidocodiurnostomies or hepatogastrostomy. So first we try to do either an anti-grade or a rendezvous. If they fail, then only we go for cholidocodiurnostomy or hepatic or gastrostomy. Are we all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Show the lower end of the wire. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. So what would, we, what would be the theoretical advantage of using EUS instead of ERCP in this patient? Uh, no. No advantage. Really no advantage. Is it not that there is a we low, are risk, little more low risk of... I must say that our center, we are a little more liberal with EUS. Uh, if you scientifically ask me why EUS and why not, so the only thing is yes, ERCP has failed once outside, so we have an indication to uh, do an EUS guided procedure. But otherwise, ERCP is as good in this patient. And is it not true that maybe the risk of complications is, is less with EUS because the risk of pancreatitis is, is less or is that not the case? Uh, if I, we are using transluminal, so we have about experience of 200 odd patients now, 2.5% uh, is the pancreatitis rate in transluminal procedures. Are we ready? Yes. Connected? Shall I start? So I'm using a six French uh, cystotome to get into the biliary system. I think I am in now. Careful. Careful, yeah. So we are in the bile duct now. We will try to go to the duodenum. I think we are in the duodenum. Withdraw the wire and inject, confirm, okay. Uh, are you using uh, contrast to, to make sure that you're in? Yeah, you do, sorry. Yeah, so we are in the duodenum. 
now we'll uh, remove this wire and put a stiff wire and then place a stent over it and what is the stent of choice for this uh, for this procedure uh, we normally place an uncovered stent uh, so that is another advantage uh, in India US specific stents are not yet available uh, so we are using the ERCP stent so an uncovered stent uh, in transluminal procedures is uh, yeah okay okay sorry in talking to you I forgot a very important step <laughs> Uh, we have to see where the papilla is. So transpapillary procedures, I'm sorry, I was saying transluminal. Transpapillary procedures, we, uh, yeah, okay, this is okay. We can use an uncovered stent. And you see the stricture? Yeah. So this is the stricture. Scope dikha. Six, six. Six, I think six. Uncovered dalo. So, but your preference would have been to Not use uh, segment two if possible. Yeah. So, we are discussing uh, amongst ourselves whether to place a covered stent or an uncovered stent. The cystic is nicely visible there. So, a four centimeter covered is okay. I think we can we can uh, put a four centimeter stent. Okay. Could there be a reason to take a fully covered stent because maybe this patient is responding to chemotherapy so that you can right, remove it? Right, 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 right. show the scope position. So at all times, it is important that okay. the scope is maintained. Uh, unlike ERCP, when the stent comes out, the scope here go back. So you have to be very careful that, you know, you are not leaving a lot of stent here, uh, space between the stomach wall and see, you see, the sc scope is coming back now. Because we are turning there, so this here we have to be careful. So I'm pushing, it's difficult. Uh, there's a lot of resistance, I can imagine, yes. Yeah. You see the scope is going back. Yeah. Endoscope, Nicolo. Well, we have a very small image there, but you can see it, yes. Yeah. So I'll change the scope position a bit. And now see, there's resistance there. At the bend, there is a resistance. See this? So the trick not is not bending. So the trick is here to pull a little bit on the on the guide wire. Uh, so that yeah, he is pulling the guide wire, and scope change, scope position change is other thing. If that doesn't, work, we may use a another stent because maybe this is a little bent at the tip or something of that sort. This is the same place where we had a problem also. So I think there is an angulation here. Normally this doesn't happen. So you see this is, use the scope a little. No, this is not progressing. Would it help to do some dilation there? Probably we need another stent. I think the stent may be bent. Mm -hmm. We'll try to see what happened to the stent tip. Shall I remove? Achha, okay. We Shahzad has removed some more wire. No, I think that tip of the stent, there is a problem, I feel. Okay. Okay. Little more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good now, job. Yeah. Good job. Everyone is quiet here. We're all excited. <laughs> we learn as we go. This is the next step now, going through the stricture. So, pushing. 
pushing. Oh, wire, 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 wire. Careful. More, 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 more. I want more. Yeah. Fine. That should be enough. Yeah, that's safer. So carefully we are pushing. Okay. I think we are through. We are in the diodenum now. Let's check it. Okay. Deploy. Slowly deploy. S small, slow, 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 slow. Yeah, deploy now. I'm withdrawing. I'm withdrawing. Withdrawing. So you're pulling on the system now, oh. I presume. Yeah, yeah. We have to ca take care of the cystic duct also. Yeah. I'm withdrawing a little more. We have a little more space above. This is good. We'll keep it here. Although it looks as if there has been a cholecystectomy. Okay, I am not aware of that. <laughs> you, are, you are very, very <laughs> observant. Okay, so the stent is deployed. Now take out the last part. Tight. It's a really tight stricture there, huh? Yeah. Careful, huh? Push some. Yeah. Very good. So this is through. Yeah. So well, that, that's it's fantastic. fairly straightforward procedure. So Vina, I think we um, we have to move on. Is there anything else that you want to mention here or point out? Uh, no, I think um, this this is good. Thank you very much for well, giving me this opportunity. Fantastic procedure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.